An instrument like Moons cannot be built by a single country. The UK could not be able to build this. However, we do have the leadership, the technology and the knowledge to lead the construction of such an instrument. And we need to do this in collaboration with international partners. That is a key challenge as well. There are many, many aspects that we need to consider when carrying a project of this magnitude. It is extremely difficult to put everything together. Different countries have different expertise. They contribute with different parts of the instrument. All of them then come here into the UK to see, into the lab, and we have to put it together, test it, and make sure that it operates and that it will work in the way that it has to work. Our community of astronomers has been focusing and trying to answer these questions for many, many decades. The breakthrough that Moons will provide to the astronomical community in terms of understanding galaxy formation has been a key high priority, it's at the high priorities of, of SDFC. In the construction of Moons, our consortium is formed by 10 different institutes spread across six different countries and ESO, ESO itself. We are constructing the instrument for ESO, we're putting it into the, into the VLT, where ESO is also a partner for us, they have uh, delivered the detector subsystem of the spectra. The international collaboration comes with a number of challenges that are not always engineering based. The priorities of the different countries might change when you're working on a project that is 10 years in duration or even longer. In many cases, the delays that you face, because you're gonna find delays when you're working on something of this complexity, we have several years of delay. With a delay, it comes a request for more money to support our teams and to continue the development of the instrument. And in many cases, it might not be their fault. It might be an engineering challenge. It might come from industry. It might come from a financial situation outside of their control. And having, when you're working on a consortium of this scale and a project of this level of complexity, you need to be able to cope with that sort of work. And that requires strategic collaboration, that requires an immense amount of support of the different agencies, in our case of SDFC, uh, to continue to look into ways that we can mitigate for this, uh, for this type of challenges. How much of these challenges we know now, after we have built moons, we have to use those lessons and fit them to the earlier stages of the instrument development. When you're thinking, when you're developing the design and the concept that you will do, if you know that that will drag an immense amount of challenges later on, perhaps for a reduced benefit in terms of the science that you will get ultimately, you might decide to not put that effort and put it somewhere else that will have a stronger impact, mainly in terms of performance of the final instrument.